Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to my third touch designer tutorial. And today we're going to build this uh, image reveal project that you can see here. And I'm just gonna dive right into it and explain how I, uh, how I make this and just rebuild it with you. So um, it's mostly work of a feedback loop with uh, this edge uh, top being in there which is kind of a trick to get this wavy effect that you can see there and a little sub magic in the beginning all right so i'm just going to delete this and start from scratch and we're going to start off by dropping a circle sop here today and and i want that to be quite a bit smaller so i drop a connect that to a transform and change its scale to 0 0.1 and since we're gonna be working with particles I want this to be sorted and I'll show you why in a second I'm gonna change its point sort to be random and uh, connect this to a particle swap alright so now you can see um, these particles being created randomly there uh, like based off uh, based on the circle here and if I turn off the, the sword you can see that um, each point is being created after the other in like a row and I don't want that <laughs> I want this like in the particle sub each um, each point is being created after the other so there's only one point at, at a time being created so I don't want them to be uh, like created one after the other, so I'm, I changed that to random, and now it just looks a bit better in my opinion. So now I'm gonna change the particle type to point sprites, and on the forces tab, change the turbulence to two. Also, I want the third period to be smaller, so we don't get this kind of uh, yeah weirdly sized thing, there, uh, shaped thing, so put 0 0.03, something about that, like even smaller, whatever you feel like. Okay, and then um, on the particles, I don't want them to live that long, <laughs> so I changed their life expectancy to 1. And now this is what, like, Something like this is what you should get now. Okay, so I'm gonna um, attach that to null and this null to a geometry. Okay, so as always, when we render, we want a camera. I'm not gonna change anything about these for now. And um, I want a point sprite material. Which I can only like, which is only useful if you change the particle type to point sprites on here. But now I can like I'm more in control of the size, for example, and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna change the alpha to 0 0.1 now, and the blending on. So you can ha you have these little particles there that they are barely visible, which is totally fine. So now I'm gonna render them and attach this render to a null as always and change this sh change its name to be G. All right. Now when I turn on the display, you can see that we have an alpha in the background. I want to change that with the lookup top and a ramp. So I can see the background is black, and I also want the particles to be a nice violet color this time. <coughs> okay, I'm also going to drop a level in here because we we want to be able to like be in control of the output later on. And now I'm going to create a feedback loop here. So I'm going to drop a comp and change its operation to add. And on the render, I'm going to add a feedback. I'm just going to dro drop the comp onto there. And here on the feedback, I want to attach another composite. 
So um, this time we're not gonna change the, the operation, we're just gonna leave it at multiply. And I will drop a movie file in top here. And I wanna ch I wanna use this uh, woman's head here. And like uh, this the size of the the image doesn't matter that much. Like it should be high quality, I guess. And like this is uh, more than HD and not the same um, ratio basically and I'm gonna fix that uh, later so I'm just gonna drop a level here so we're also in control of the image images um, like brightness and contrast here and drop that into the comp now to this comp I want to add a an edge and this edge I want to um, yeah let's just uh, like that's already gonna create the effect for now so I'm gon gonna uh, attach that to the comp now you can see the effect already kind of working so now what I want to do here is say comp over input you don't have to do this just gives for a nicer effect in my opinion and change the strength to 2 and the sample step also to round two. You can also make the strength a bit stronger or, or less or the sample step higher. Like you can really play around with these uh, as you like. And I'm just gonna like change the brightness here uh, to be a bit higher. So it's really strong color there. And now I want to insert a fit top here and this fit top I want it to be the same size as my uh, project basically so 1920 by 1080 and here on the fit I'm just gonna say fit horizontal you can also use different different methods here uh, you can also for example say native resolution and then it's gonna be like uh, a lot closer if the image is big and then you could like trans translate it up, for example. It also makes for a nice uh, effect. But I'm just gonna leave it as uh, fit horizontal. And now, um, if I drop a different image in here, for example, in this one, then you can see it's also like uh, it also fits into there. And what you can see here as well with this with this image is that the colors mix like if I put this to white then you can see uh, here the the images original color mixed with the lookup color and I personally don't want that so we can drop an HSV adjust here and just turn down the saturation multiplier to zero so now we only get that one color you don't have to do this um, that's just uh, yeah, I just like it that way. And the last thing I want to do, like uh, if I, I want to be in control of this pulse here, because when I press this pulse, the image is being recreated. So, um, how do I do that? I'm, I want to be able to control that with the keyboard. So I just drop a keyboard in chop, and here, and attach that to a null chop and we're just gonna leave this as is so the like as you can see it's uh, reacting to the key number one so like the one on your keyboard and um, I'm just gonna make this active drag the channel on here on the pulse on the feedback and say chop reference so now every time I press one the image is being recreated and as you can see here nicely like if I go berserk on the one uh, you can see how, like why we use particles in the beginning so because it's just it just looks more interesting if it's like changing like that okay so as I said like you can play a, ro a lot around here uh, with this with this edge top and also on the composite you could for example say subtract instead of uh, add uh, multiply and then you just get an inverted image or uh, you could also say screen nope don't say screen dodge 
no, fuck. <laughs> okay, but but there is stuff you can play around with. Um, yeah, and obviously you can change the color and everything. All right, so so far so good. Um, actually, there's one last thing I want to show you, which also looks pretty cool. You don't have to use faces for this. I'm actually gonna use a keyboard here. Change this to to uh, this nice eighties violet kind of color, and change like add a fit here as well, and change the fit to HD again, and the scale a bit down. So now we have a keyboard more in the like smaller, and uh, change the strength a little bit to be a lot higher. Maybe the sample step lower. And then press one again. Now oh, that's also a nice effect. So you can use kind of like any image that you that you want to. As you can see, this part isn't being drawn. So maybe what you want to do here in the level is uh, pull up the gamma. So um, darker parts are also being drawn on. So now, like all the parts are being created there. All right. Thanks a lot for watching this um, this tutorial, <laughs> and I uh, see you in the next one.